y'all, it's Cameron the K coming to you guys with another Legal Tea Series video. Of course, I have my official Legal Tea mug. If you haven't ordered yours already, they are still available, you guys. It has the Legal Tea in the front and a scale in the back. I really, really love it. I'm happy with the design. Hope you guys like it as well. So, let's go ahead and just jump into the Legal Tea, y'all. Let, let's get into it, okay? So, I know the setup's a little different. I've said this in other videos, but for those of you that... This may be your first video or your second Legal Tea Series video or you only watch my Legal Tea Series video. My setup is usually not like this. It's usually just a blank screen, blank canvas, blank background, whatever. But my ring light broke, so I'm using daylight. So that's why I'm having to be at an angle where my windows are. But yeah, um, like I said, let's get into the video. So today I'm going to be just casually talking about getting a low LSAT score. I know so many people have been getting their LSAT scores back and have not been getting the score that they necessarily want. Or maybe the score that they were getting when they were doing practice tests and things of that nature. I just want to get on here and say, do not let that discourage you from going to law school if that is your true passion. It's just an LSAT score. I know you're like, Cameron, easier for you to say, like, you're in whole law school. Yes, but my LSAT score was not high. I was getting like 160s when I was doing practice tests. And let's just say I wasn't even in the 160s at all, okay? <laughs> I, it was less than a 155, y'all, like... It was low, okay? My LSAT score was low. Um, my GPA was a 3.0, so it's not like I had like a 3.8 or anything that can kind of balance that um, LSAT score because that is something. So keep in mind if you do have a quote-unquote low LSAT score, compare that to one, what is your GPA? Compare that to two, the school that you're trying to get in. What is their median LSAT score? Maybe you meet that median. Maybe you are even higher than their median score and within their high range. Just because the LSAT score that you received is low to you, it might actually not be bad for the school you're trying to apply for. Also, three, try to find out if I didn't even mean for this to be like a one, two, three kind of thing. But anyway, three, find out and see if that school weighs more heavy on your GPA rather than your LSAT score. I know that might be kind of hard to find out, but just talk to people that apply there. Talk to people that are applying there. Maybe talk to admissions possibly, but don't go too overboard with that. You don't want to seem too pressy or too just doing the most is <laughs> but it's okay to ask questions and there are some are some law schools that prefer to have a higher gpa rather than a higher lsat score it just kind of depends because all that gets worked out with the rankings and some schools are just they just prefer to have a higher gpa over a higher lsat and vice versa so make sure you check that out also just because you have a low lsat score that doesn't mean not apply for that school even if you're not in their median or maybe not even in their low accepted range because usually schools have like a low Oh, that score range that they accept a median and then like they're high which is like what they usually um accept and things of that nature but just because you're not in any of those three categories doesn't mean you won't get accepted so keep that in mind as well i just want to kind of give you guys some encouragement and it's okay have your moment to be sad but get back and hit the ground running i've been getting a lot of questions as to should you still apply for the fall 2019 if you just got your lsat back and it's low and you have to retake it and I believe February is when they take it. Somebody correct me if I'm wrong, but I say go for it. But remember, you're applying later in the cycle. Now, the dates and things of that nature have changed since I've taken the LSAT score three years ago. But um, two, three years ago. Three years ago? God, <laughs> your girl got to graduate. Anyway, <laughs> um, I just want to say keep that in mind since you're applying later in the cycle your odds and chances are lower regardless of your score. Just because schools have already been sending, their, sending out their acceptances, and they're basically narrowing the amount of people that they can accept at this point, so you kind of want to really be up there to still apply, but that doesn't mean don't apply because some people that they might have sent acceptance letters to, maybe their top 20 students they really wanted to come to their school, all didn't accept it and didn't want to go to that school. So then now that's 20 slots still available for other students to apply. So keep that in mind as well. And also maybe you can find out if the school still has um, seating available for their class, like some schools might be able to tell you that like, hey, regardless if you apply, like you're going to be waitlisted. There are some schools that just have a cap on the amount of students that they accept. Not all, and I'm just speaking from a general sense, of course, um, from my experience and from things that I've heard from other law students and law professors and admission ambassadors and things of that nature. So keep that in mind. Ask a lot of questions. Keep doing your research, but do not let that discourage you. It's just one score. Take it again. I took it twice. I literally took it twice. The first time I took it, I bombed it okay since I bombed it 
okay <laughs> I got like in the 130s okay let's just put it out there so I did a lot better a lot better my second time like like I said in my practice exams I was getting high scores but I know that I have a little bit of test, test anxiety so I have to go above and beyond when I'm practicing and when I was practicing I wasn't practicing as efficiently or effectively as I should have I guess I could say um the second time around I did a lot more practice tests I focused heavily on the areas that I was struggling with um the logical reasoning area is a huge portion of the test I focused more on that because I wanted to do better on that to kind of equal out the reading comprehension section that I just was not good at I also have another video all about the LSAT and I'll leave that down in the description box below so you guys can check that out this is just basically for the people that are struggling with whether to keep going or whether to still apply again or whether to just still go to law school in general over LSAT score. I know it sounds super dramatic, but I, I, trust me, I was there. When I got my LSAT score back, I was like, dang, like, you know what I'm saying? I said something else. I said, damn, I ain't gonna lie. I'm like, wow, maybe I should think of something else. But here I am about to graduate law school, and your LSAT score does not determine if you're gonna get a job for one it's not determined if you're gonna get a clerkship if you're gonna get accepted if you're gonna have a good experience in law school and all these other things that go through your mind when you see your LSAT score like I'm never gonna get accepted never gonna succeed never gonna be an attorney all these things it's not true it's not true breathe <laughs> and reevaluate what you need to do if you need to take a year off take a year off if you need to take two years off take two years off I took a year off and it was the best decision I could have made and I kind of wish I would have plan to take the year off so then I could have just like experienced the world a little bit more maybe spend some time in New York I always wanted to live in New York in the city for like a year just to say I did it and just do things um outside of the legal fields and career of course get experience so if you have no legal experience at all I definitely say intern somewhere during that year gap year that's what you call it between your law school and undergraduate year um year or two however many years you do definitely get some experience if you don't have any however take this time to just kind of dip and dab into other fields and careers and experience different things because once you're in law school it's like your legal career starts that first day at orientation and then from that day on like you're prepping to be an attorney like that's just what it is I love it I'm enjoying it I'm still traveling and getting to know things and uh experience things outside the world rather outside the world that sounds really dramatic but I'm still doing things that I love such as YouTube hair makeup all that stuff I'm still doing that but I wish I would have like planned for that gap year or two however many you decide to take and just kind of relax and not worry so much about law school because I did kind of worry during that year and then you get to law school and you're like everything's stressful but <laughs> no not serious but like serious but yeah you guys will be fine if you have any questions comments concerns definitely reach out to me I know so many people have been asking me about my mentorship program you guys I'm gonna be baby stepping it in as um the new year comes I'm going to my last semester you guys so I have a little bit more time on hand but not really because I'll be studying for the bar <laughs> like literally for like two months straight and I won't be doing anything probably no social media or anything I don't think maybe a little bit here and there but I don't want to commit to anything so um but yeah don't worry I will have my mentorship stuff coming a sneak peek is I will be doing like one-on-one -on -one calls whether it's FaceTime or like just regular phone voice calls but I want to be very interactive it's going to be more of like a I'm like a self-help motivational encouraging tips and tricks kind of thing not like a workbook guideline but I will be giving tips on like resume cover letter things that that's just like a little 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 tip of my little mentorship it will cost but I'll try to make it as affordable as possible however I do have a lot of good experience I do have a lot of good knowledge that I want to share with you especially with networking like I, I'm not top of my class but I'm doing exceptionally well in my um, career path too when I graduate I don't want to tell everything but yeah so definitely keep your head up and don't let your LSAT score deter you from law school because your grades and your success does not reflect from your LSAT score I promise you you guys are amazing for even choosing to want to go to law school it's hard work but it's going to be worth it so hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to thumbs it up if you enjoyed and share this video with your family and friends and get your legal tea mug if you haven't already I will be coming out with more merch probably a shirt I don't know maybe follow me on my Instagram you guys will be really up to date I spill all the tea on there so yeah I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys in my next legal tea series video Later!